I'm only gonna say this one time and one time only. Hunger is not what you think it is. And that is why I can guarantee you 85% of the people that start a calorie deficit will never make it long term. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and I am going to show you guys the number one thing that we fail to realize about real hunger versus fake hunger. I was able to lose over 60 pounds in three months, okay? And I help a lot of my clients lose weight. I also just launched my community. So if you're serious about losing weight this year and achieving your dream body, but not only losing weight because I also have amazing tips on how to gain weight as well. This is my transformation. If you guys are interested, definitely join us while we transform our body this year. I'm gonna give you guys recipe tips and subliminals and meditation that's going to reprogram your subconscious mind to remove your thick <gasps> girl habits now this is something that i talk about in my previous videos but now i'm going to talk about real hunger versus fake hunger real hunger versus emotional hunger now i like to call fake hunger emotional hunger because you're eating based on the emotion Food should be for fuel. A lot of the times we are eating too much. In this society, we are just programmed to eat, 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 fill, 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 filling the void. But what void? What void or exactly are we filling? And I know everyone's going to comment, oh, we're filling the void of hunger. No, a normal person should not be hungry every hour. Now, ma'am, that might be something that's more medical, but I'm talking about just overall. And of course, for calorie cutting and for weight loss. So if that's your issue, then we can definitely talk about it though, but not in this video. So I'm going to be explaining to you guys fake hunger versus real hunger, okay? I need you guys to understand a lot of us are eating the heavy foods. If you're eating rice, pasta, the gluten, you know, the heavy foods, the heavy starches, okay, your McDonald's, your KFC, it takes time for that to, to digest in the body. And that's what we fail to realize, okay? Those things take time to digest, okay? It can take an hour, two hours, five hours, the whole day, a week. It could take so long, especially if you're eating like heavy foods like meat, that can take so long to fully digest inside the body. And we are not giving our body enough rest, okay? Really honor your body and really, you know, get back into tune and alignment with your body okay i am preaching this and i'm going to keep saying this and i'm gonna keep on saying it because it just doesn't make any sense you do not need to eat every hour even if you are trying to gain weight do you don't need to eat every hour babe you don't okay at this point there's a void that you're filling and it has to be an emotional void okay so let me explain what emotional hunger is emotional hunger number one it appears suddenly it will appear suddenly and you will feel the need that you have to act on it right away okay because real hunger it appears gradually okay you get the muff you get the little in your stomach and then it gets more stronger and stronger as you of course get more hungry or you don't like address the issue so it gets stronger but with emotional hunger it's a sudden like click it's like oh my god i'm hungry i need to eat something now like i'm craving something and that is emotional hunger emotional hunger you tend to crave like particular things okay that is the big takeaway here like the main difference is like when you're actually hungry you will eat anything that is presented to you of course in reasoning but when you are emotionally hungry on the other hand you are craving something in particular like for example you're craving that burger you're craving that cookie you're craving a cake you're craving pasta you're craving something in particular because it's playing with an emotion oh my god guys i'm so sick it's playing with an emotion okay so that is the main difference between real hunger and emotional hunger is the fact that you're craving something in particular and it's a sudden switch it's not gradual another thing is with emotional hunger as soon as you eat that particular thing or as soon as you eat again you will feel shame and guilt 
around eating or after you eat you'll feel like oh i shouldn't have done that or oh or oh i should have waited you'll feel a sense of guilt when it's emotional hunger another factor of that you're emotionally hungry is that that it also plays on your emotion as well so if you're feeling sad emotional hunger reacts to an emotion so i kind of briefly discussed that earlier but basically i'm saying that whenever you feel like loneliness sad so, so for example if you're bored we tend to eat more when we are at home and kind of not occupied with tasks so think of the time when you were just at home bored like i know it's like a sensitive time but think back to 2020 when we were at home and you were bored and we had nothing to stimulate our minds nine times out of ten we were probably cooking we were eating a lot of us developed cooking skills like and that is because a lot of the times when we are bored we like to fill that boredom with eating when we're sad we like to fill that void with eating think of the time you went through something super sad in your life um say for example a breakup you go into that you go into the fridge you go into the freezer and you get yourself some ice cream you're like i need some ice cream ice cream ice cream ice cream <laughs> that is emotional hunger baby and it's gonna hit you like a another thing as well with emotional hunger it does not stop you can eat like it will not stop especially after you eat the big telltale sign is that with real hunger it will stop after you eat so you'll feel satisfied you will feel full but with emotional hunger you will keep on going and keep on going and that will lead to binge eating which means you are now putting yourself at risk at a calorie surplus which means you have a chance of gaining that weight back you can definitely see how real hunger is a is physical and emotional hunger is a mental game so that is why i love to practice reprogramming the subconscious mind i love affirmations i love getting inside here because the number one reason why we tend to gain our weight back especially after losing it quickly or especially after a cleanse or a fast is because we are still viewing ourselves as if we were our old size and it can happen especially when you you know jump to like 130 to now like 120 you're still viewing yourself as if you were 130 for a lot of us that is why i always preach mindset before anything your mindset comes before you even determine how much calories you need in order to lose weight mindset like your mindset is golden and this is what i teach in my community with my girls in here, I always send them weekly new affirmations and meditations so you can view yourself as if you are ready. And that is the key to weight loss and keeping it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some insight on how to manage and control emotional hunger. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys all for the support. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. Y'all go follow that TikTok. But better yet, follow my Instagram because I post recipes on there as well. Just little snippets. But full recipes can be found in the link in bio. So I love you guys. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. And I'm wishing you, and I'm wishing you guys all the luck and abundance this year.